Hey guys, what's cracking? Um, this is going to be my second take at this. I'm going to sit down and analyse um, Star Atlas, the full length trailer. Uh, you can see minute 44, uh, there's not a lot of trailer involved, so that's it's a good minute and a half of, of um, video. Uh, I've taken my camera off this one, I just thought it did it injustice having a dirty great big uh, barn dog picture on there. So I um, hope you guys enjoy, I, I've hoped that you have watched the full trailer before you come in here. I think it's super awesome watching it live at least once and then watching all of those kinds of analysis. Um, I'm not going to go into a superb um, feature movie length description of it all um, and I actually haven't watched anyone else analyse this first because I thought I might pop something out and then uh, I've downloaded several people to watch afterwards as well but there's always live events, all that kind of stuff so I'm trying to work out how to do recording in my room without headphones as well just to see how the quality comes out. But um, let's get into it, hey. So this is, from the start, you can see the first picture. This is the only character that's shown in the first um, video. I, I made a lot of fun of that myself at the start because it looked very much uh, avatarish to me. I thought too avatarish, um, and a different character probably could have been input into it. But using a human to be too bland, I really thought they should have used uh, some kind of um, booster myself, just getting something out there. But of course, let's wait and see what we've got. Miles, the station reported a distress signal last night. Oh, it's a distress signal last night. What you see is, of course, is the same pan over shot of, uh, what were these called? I've just said the name in the last video take. But a Dyson sphere. This to me looks like a Dyson sphere, like that space station that's that's built up over time. Uh, could could be wrong. It could just be a large space station. But um, someone's reported a distress signal. Miles. I wonder. There's going to be a lot of Easter eggs in this. They've worked really well. A lot of games you see, they put Easter eggs in. They put all these bits of information that the crowd just absolutely love finding out special information on. I think it came from your dad's ship. The signal. It came from past the outer ring. How is that even possible? Also worth talking over, um, and I should have said this at the start, but I wonder, this all looks like UE5 content. It all looks like the graphics are just shit hot. This ship has been reported missing for 20 years now. Pretty sure he's not coming back. We go there. Now, it doesn't look like a, a hero, compact hero, but this kind of reminds me of a medium um, a medium ship that's versatile. You know, you can refit it, outfit it to do different things, um, but then you don't see any real weapons on it, so is it a transport? Uh, I guess it's worth starting to look at these kinds of analysis in the game, you know, like where are these ships actually coming in? Definitely a ship that's going to be landing in the atmosphere. That shot right there, um, it shows you straight away a whole lot of things. Um, now, I did talk about this in my last video, but I, I haven't seen any kind of crew gear like any of the apparel that was brought out um, by a fabricant uh, for the sales of you know uniform gears with badges and stuff like that. But you can see all alongside each other, you've got the Oni, the Mud, and the Ulster. And this is showing you right now, you can pick any race and work within one faction as a group. Um, and I thought this was probably one of the best shots of the whole lot. To me, this shows so much. Um, it shows a lot more character in depth of our Oni, different colors. Um, the human has a very realistic look to him. And um, old mate in the Ulster, that was cool. I just really impressive pause right here. What was that? So obviously, uh, this looks like it's the elusive Iris, uh, all part of the law. You're going to start seeing the uh, poster series, the Rebirth series coming into it. They mentioned diamond in the first one. I thought that was a really bad drop of a word, but uh, maybe for marketing it was easier for people that are not game related, as you know, for the mainstream, so to speak, to be able to um, understand diamond, something of importance, something of value. And in some of the AMA and questions, it was talked about, but. I just saw 
Yeah, I see. All right. Okay, so that's a ship loaded on the dock. That's what I was looking at there. So I don't know that this will be a Dyson Sphere because it's got ship mechanics to it. So just this just looks like a bigger than a capital ship. It would have to be. If that's going to be a hero, something the size of a hero, then maybe this is one of your, um, yeah, your individual faction ships. This is what kind of made me think it was a bit of a Dyson Sphere at the start, was just this pan over. And you can see we've got a forested lake area, a bit of a, bit of a beach location, even in uh, 2620. You need to go down to the beach and get your sun on. But um, you can see, you know, zooming in graphics of little boats and stuff like that. So um, that's, you know, gives you a bit of a grand scale size of things about exactly how big this ship slash uh, living station is. Don't fuck with us, we're here. They are pretty cool um, gunnery systems. Um, obviously you're gonna have guns behind guns and covering all different angles and approaches, but that was a cool little addition as well. We found out you have the map. We're gonna kill us for it. How cool is that? Imagine being able to get your own graphics of your face and uh, putting them within that. In the game, on a little NPC robot, um, seeing that in a game um, packaging and stuff like that on like that was so cool that was again yet another great little addition that's the case. There's only one thing we can do. <coughs> excuse me um, pretty cool scenes here so obviously they are now converted their ship into data running, uh, maybe they were changing components, um, setting themselves up for some long range travel. And then they go through this asteroid belt to go and give the information to the rest of the faction. Um, and then you got old mate sitting here like a sneaky little fucker, locked away. Um, so when we think about being stealth, not necessarily does that mean you've got, to, you know, you're visible stealth, but that was just, again, so cool. I really didn't, ever, didn't get the end of it, so I don't understand this end part. This, this is the bit that confuses me the most out of the video. It's a different living quarter, is it not? Different than the other one. But history has begun. Um, yeah, this is a day before um, Town Hall 18. Um, they're going to have a busy week. They had a couple of weeks worth of cooling off period, which they needed. I've talked about in other videos, but um, absolutely amazing trailer. Super fucking cool. I mean, super cool. And um, yeah, so happy to uh, put it on. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, thank you, mother, for the rabbits.